Alright, so, uh, so this time we're going to start with this simple command window. So this is probably what you see when you just click on the Julia 1.1.exe. 1 and for most Julia or users, um, there is there they are not built for Julia 1.0 plus, which is not good because uh, Julia has changed a lot from from the version 0.6 to 1.0, and it's losing lots of its uh, parts of the, uh, the 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 language eco ecosystem. So there are some packages that's not uh, some packages do not keep up with the pace that the that the language itself involves. But uh, recently, lots of packages are already fixed, and, and you see that. That, that lots of useful projects are ready to use, which is uh, which is pretty good. So that's uh, it, it's it's prob it's probably a better idea to start with uh, 1.0 plus. Uh, so for the version I'm using this, it's, this is released on 16th of May. But, uh, might get it updated a, few days, uh, a couple of days later. Uh, this is not a very, this is not a too this is not a too up to date version, but uh, but uh, but uh, after 1.0, the syntax uh, uh, mainly freezes. Uh, there are some minor changes on uh, there are some minor changes on the syntax, but it's a, it's a good idea to keep uh, a relatively a recent version instead of saying 0.7, because I heard some people uh, have have to use 0.7 for some like uh, legacy legacy codings because uh, th th this is pretty special because 0.7 actually supports uh, the some syntax from 0.6 but also 1.0 but it's going to give you a warning if you are using 0.6 version so there's a kind of soft deprecation or whatever is that but it's not a big problem but so the first thing is that uh, we are not using this window for most of our development. This is just a in, uh, like an interactive, it's an in, interactive uh, environment, uh, and uh, sometimes you use this window to launch uh, notebooks, uh, Jupyter for, for I mean, Jupyter notebooks. Uh, namely with uh, a package called iJulia, or you could use VS Code uh, Atom. Just if you use Atom, just Google Uber Juno and uh, just install the <coughs> relevant packages, and <coughs> we'll uh, I'll probably make uh, some other uh, introduction to uh, how to figure that out. So use this ID user. So just be clever. Use this ID user. So very important idea. So the uh, first thing you know, you know is that if you type question marks here, and it will automatically change this uh, this to a yellow colored help. And if I if I directly hit enter, it's going to give me the the, uh, the main pages of Julia and uh, its uh, learning resources. And uh, it's got it's giving you a couple of functions of uh, uh, those funny operators as well because it's, uh, they do support uh, it. Uh, so Julia does support uh, the um, Unicode, so you can use actually use these things as a part of your code, which is uh, which looks pretty awesome, but. Uh, which is not very cool if you are <laughs> uh, solving the compatibility of, uh, problem of your um, notebook, but that's, uh, that, that doesn't usually that doesn't always happen. So uh, if I type in question mark and some kind of operator, it's gonna give me uh, the the corresponding thing like minus plus or and uh, and also be. Uh, if I type in some kind of functions like rent and do it. if you ever used MATLAB, you will know that this is a I believe MATLAB or something. Is uh, the 
using the random number pseudo random number generator to generate uh, some kind of uh, um, random random number so that basically answers your problem. And the second thing is you need to know is that if you type uh, uh, right uh, sorry the squared bracket and type in uh, a question mark is going to give you a package help so uh, so so this if I, if I do if I do backspace so backspace clear that to the normal to live uh, if I go using package you can see that package package is pkg is a, actually a, a a actual package and you could add you can add pack, uh, and then you could add packages just to with the with PKG because uh, this this one is actually a package uh, manage management system uh, or package management package or uh, the, the, quite that's not very technical uh, but so say if I get I want to get the most recent version of sorry that's not the fine. Uh, so when I, I can actually let it to this is just like this is just like some install package thing on uh, on R if you type install packages and something you automatic automatically connects to uh, a, the internet and try to upload something to you. And so so uh, the for the package development thing. Uh, this is one of the things that you really run to a uh, in the com uh, command window because uh, uh, because uh, the probably most most thing is package uh, just pkg dot add and you have to type those thi this thing into a uh, uh, parenthesis and. Uh, a, another thing is that you can uh, build package, and sometimes the 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 the, uh, the downloaded package doesn't work because it's it, it, because some dependencies of it it's, it's not uh, it's not uh, built yet. And uh, another very uh, interesting uh, thing about it is that we could um, use um, package remove to remove the old version of packages if, especially if you run into problems if you use the older version of atom and uh, some packages are not uh, and, and sometimes you are not uh, able to remove all of the uh, package and you have to uh, delete uh, atom editor and <laughs> reinstall which is a really tedious work uh, and here's uh, uh, garbage collect package uh, for for the package which uh, which are not used for a significant time. So uh, not only the uh, the object that's uh, that's uh, so say if you if you define some variables into into your global workspace and you work with that variable and then and then for the uh, and, and for a certain amount of time the, uh, the, the, the this variable isn't being used and you would and if you want to sp free the memory space or to just to make it um, run other stuff and you could run GC but actually uh, there's a package version of GC which is pretty cool because they uh, some uh, occasionally people forget to uh, like uh, not use some uh, like uh, like remove some uh, package from the current workspace. So that's basically uh, so that's basically all you need to know about uh, the versions.